your manage sheet blaster and if you're an OG follower of mine then you probably know that I'm quite young and therefore I've never felt like I knew my exact place in the world I've never felt like I've had a certain path For the past couple days I've been kind of like thinking and like self-reflecting like what the fuck am I doing on this planet and I've kind of come to the conclusion that I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing I've never been that kind of person who knew okay I want to be a doctor so I'm gonna go to school for eight years and then I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get these grades and those grades are gonna allow me you know I was never like that I had no idea what kind of career I wanted I'm not gonna sit here and give you like advice on how to find your purpose or find like the thing you're meant to do, right? But I do believe that there's so much value in just doing everything. Like if you're at the stage where I was two years ago, where my life was pretty shit, okay, my habits were really bad, I wasn't like a productive human being. First, you kind of have to remove all of the like the negativity in your life. Like, no junk food, you know, no social media, and no video games, blah blah blah, like, I know that sounds to some people like something you want to sacrifice, like, oh my god, that sounds like a horrible life. But actually, once you do, like, get rid of those things, then it just clears so much from your life. I feel like my life is very full of clarity most of the times, and even when I'm, you know, going through, like, stressful periods, or burnout, or depression, or anything, over the last few years, I feel like, despite all of the shit that life throws at me, I still can look at it clearly. And that's just because I'm lucky enough that I haven't, or I've always made the effort to make sure that I don't let those like bad habits control me. So that's step number one, just like become a productive human being. But then once you become a productive human being and you can actually discipline yourself to do whatever you want, basically, and you, you actually kind of get yourself out of your comfort zone, that is what will allow you to go and try new things. You know, they always say, like, go and experience something new. Go and try and pursue something. Maybe there's just something you've always wanted to try and do. Just go out there and go, go and do it. No matter how scary it is, you know, something that I've always wanted to do for my whole life, or my whole conscious life, at least in the five ye last five years, I always wanted to learn how to kickbox. I always wanted to learn Muay Thai. And I'm not just saying this for the video, this is actually how it felt. Like, when I was about 14, 15, I don't know where this, like, desire came from, but, like, I just really wanted to learn Muay Thai, and I begged my parents and everything, but... It all fell through, I think, at that time. My life wasn't, like, lined up for it. But yeah, I'm pursuing something. At least. And I'll tell you what, it's super scary. I just got back from watching my coach's fight. So, one coach, the teacher, had a fight today. And also, a guy who's also kind of a teacher. He's just, like, really advanced. Um, I think he's really young as well. But I like them a lot. I love, I love, I love my gym, actually. But, um, yeah, we went to go see a fight. And I just felt so much excitement and anxiety and fear to think, like, maybe in a month, I'm going to be up on stage. I'm going to be the one that's going to be dodging the fucking kicks coming in my face. But the thing is, even with this Muay Thai path, with this YouTube path, with you know the the qualifications that i have i'm a fitness coach i'm a breathwork meditation and ice bath facilitator like even with these like new experiences and new skills that i have there's no certain way there's never been like a layout there's no manual to life i'm just navigating the best i can which is okay i see something that interests me i want to like go down that road a bit further and see where it takes me and I'm, I'm sure so many people, at least in my generation, can relate to this because we just have so much going on. Like, bro, just from like a, you know, a social political side of things, like everything's 
kind of going to shit and maybe i'll make another video on this but i don't like saying that because that's a very pessimistic way of looking at the world however it is true most people don't have the life that they want and it is because they are held back from you know their potential because they're spending too much time scrolling because their actual life sucks but i'm lucky enough that i've put in the work to make sure that my baseline of life does not suck so even when I was going through depression, when I was going through 60 hour work weeks, when I was going through like the shit, like even now I'm kind of going through the shit where like Muay Thai is just taking up all of my energy and it's very scary and it's painful. <sighs> even then, life is good. And I'm not saying this to be like, you know, braggy or anything because of course I feel negative emotions. But the point is that I'm feeling both the highs, the highs and the lows. And that's kind of the part of life is you just got to realize, okay, let's do everything we possibly can. Maybe it overwhelms you. Maybe you need to go out and like write down like a whole list of everything you want to achieve in your life. I looked at that list and I thought, what are the things that I could actually do right now? What can I actually work on? What can I actually decide i want to achieve this i want to make progress towards this there were a bunch of things and so i made that like my new year's resolution and i'm not gonna lie like i don't believe in the whole new year new me thing right but around that time i was like okay this is like the time to like set a new goal not necessarily like a new goal but just kind of put myself on a path okay i'm gonna write down the goal because you you can't have a path a life path without having an end goal first like it just doesn't make sense if you don't know where you want to end up then you won't end up anywhere you won't have control of where you end up you'll just kind of go with the flow which is how i lived my life for a very long time but i read these goals today and i realized somehow some way or another everything that i wrote down i'm living my life that way i'm already like on the right path and it's very strange because i'm not the type of person like i haven't even written my goals down on like a wall or anything i have no reminders i don't like i'm not waking up every morning and thinking about okay this year i gotta do this this year i gotta do that i don't do that because it's a little bit psychotic and granted it could help but it's just not what i do and yet i'm still on the right path there's, there's no right path it's just what i've set for myself so that's the thing if you feel like you have no life path you literally just have to make it yourself because no one's gonna like give it to you unless you're like one of those you know those kids who were pressured by their parents to become a doctor and now you like from such a young age you know you got to be a lawyer you got to be a, a doctor you got to be some successful high status uh scholar type person so that we can brag to you know our friends and we can also live our dreams through our child like if you were a victim of that then I, I apologize and if that's not what you want then you have to just push it away for a while and just actually think about what you want to do because we all kind of know what we want to do we just don't know how to get there or we don't know exactly what it is and that's okay if you don't know exactly what it is but if you have like this thing that's just kind of vague, but it's something, it's a thing, it's a hobby, it's a skill, it's a business idea, whatever it is, just think about it, because your brain will, you know, if you give it like an end point, like if you give your brain like a goal, like if you literally visualize like, okay, I want a, I don't know, a world title medal, or a world title belt in kickboxing, if I visualize that in my head, my, my brain will naturally just start navigating towards it because I'm entering that into my subcon subconscious every time I'm visualizing it, which is kind of crazy. This is a whole nother topic, a little bit like wishy-washy almost, but it's actually science, which is really cool. Um, but if you just plan in, like, imagine it's like a GPS, you can plot out the way forward, you know? So if you're feeling stuck in life, that's what i would recommend you do is literally just sit down for a while maybe like turn off like all distractions like no 
no phone, no YouTube, no Instagram, whatever the hell you're using to distract you in those like hours that you're just sitting around at home. Just sit there. Maybe have a journal and just write down things. I've done this plenty of times where I just do that for a couple days and it's very, very clarifying. It's very helpful. So yeah, I hope this helps.